No, my Harry, my welcome to Three News. The government has issued a demand that public services no longer prioritise Māori with policies, calling it a need not race directive. It comes on the same day the Waitangi Tribunal released its scathing assessment of the government's moves to overrule the courts on the foreshore and seabed issue. Here's senior political correspondent Jenna Lynch. As if the Crown Māori relationship needed another test after Cabinet signed off the contentious treaty principles bill this week. Today, Cabinet released its latest missive, a directive that all public services be allocated based on need rather than race, was issued, fulfilling a coalition commitment. This is a country based on equal rights for each and every citizen, no matter what your background. Now, if people want to frame that as attacking Māori, what they're really saying is that Māori is somehow different. The directive states the targeting, commissioning and design of public services should be based on the needs of all New Zealanders and that all variables should be considered before ethnic identity is automatically used to determine need. Anti-Māori. We have an anti tatariti government which we all know. One of the key areas that had been targeted was Māori health. For instance, the National Bowel Screening Programme is available to those over 60. But as a higher proportion of bowel cancer occurs in Māori and Pacific peoples before they reach 60, the screening is available to those populations from age 50. The requirement is for government departments when they do this sort of targeting uh, to ask the question, are there other reasons why some people have more trouble with bowel cancer than others? And if they can show that the only indicator that's there uh, is ethnicity, then that's fine. What is your solution? How are you going to be addressing the Māori Pacifica inequities that you don't want to hear exist. The government also tore up a policy introduced by Labour that government agencies ensure at least 8% of their annual procurement contracts are awarded to Māori businesses. In our view, this has led to perversities where companies have been able to claim based on ancestry of their ownership that they're somehow better at providing services to government. And today the Waitangi Tribunal came out swinging against the government again, this time over its planned changes to the Takutai Moana or Marine and Coastal Areas Act, which deals with customary title over foreshore and seabed. The government effectively wants to, through legislation, overturn a court ruling from last year which made it easier for iwi to gain customary title. It found the government had departed from orthodox and responsible decision-making. The advice of officials was regularly dismissed. The process was rushed. The approach to policy development was instead characterised by ideology and blind adherence to pre-existing political commitments at the expense of Fano, hapu and iwi. The tribunal said the government's planned changes were a gross breach of the treaty. We campaigned on this. Uh, we're carrying out what we campaigned on. An extremely distressful state to be in um, for us as uh, tangata whenua. Those rights that they are removing are were rights that were afforded to us simply by the fact that we're Indigenous. Well, we are doing what we committed to do and we intend to do it. The tribunal's clobbering giving the government no pause for thought.